So in the first question, you're asked to prepare a table and a graph of a hypergeometric distribution with, in the first case, n is equal to 6. So that means our total population of uh, that we're going to choose from will be equal to 6. R is the number of dependent events that are going to occur. So in the previous example, we're going to deal uh, three cards. A is the total possible number of successful outcomes that are possible. So if there are three um, in total successful, um, a population of three that we can choose from, then that's going to be our A. And we're going to sub into the formula each time for a different value of X. And X represents the number of successful outcomes. So in the first one, we're looking at zero successful outcomes. So this will be equal to three choose zero because X is zero and recall that A is three times three choose three divided by six choose three, which is our sample space. And so going through, I've done the work for you here. You can see that in the first case, when the probability of getting zero um, successful events is 0 0.05, or about 5%. Probability of one successful event will be then, uh, works out to be 3 choose 1 times 3 choose 2, which is 3 times 3, divided by 20, which is about 45%, 0 0.45. Two successful events will be, um, work out to be the exact same value, and three successful events again will be three choose three times three choose zero the other way around now, but the result is again zero decimal zero five or five percent, and this works out because five plus forty five plus forty five plus five would be a hundred percent. So this takes into consideration all the possible outcomes. So this can get a bit tedious, especially when you're doing large number of calculations. So what I'm going to do is open up an Excel file. All right, so what I have here is um, an Excel spreadsheet, and I'm going to demonstrate how you could generate the um, information we just got by doing uh, calculations by hand. So we're going to use an Excel function called equals, and it's hypegeom.dist. And if you're ever in doubt of what these uh, various um, uh, values mean, then what you can do is click on the, um, the, the blue link, and it'll come up with the information here. Now, uh, sample underscore s is the number of successes in the sample, and that would correspond in our formula to x in our hypergeometric distribution formula. The number underscore sample is the size of the sample, so how many you're going to choose. Population underscore s is the number of successes in the population. So, for example, um, might be the number of hearts that, if you're interested in the num um, if the number of successes, uh, for example, the one we gave before was the number of hearts that are dealt in a three card hand. So. Because the population, the number of successes in the population would be 13 in that case, which would be the number of hearts. And lastly, number underscore pop is the population size. In other words, um, that would be, correspond to n in our um, formula. So again, uh, sample underscore s would represent x. Number underscore sample would represent r in our formula for hypergeometric distribution. Population underscore s would be the number um, th that would represent a, and number underscore pop would be our n. And cumulative, remember that just like in the binomial distribution function, cumulative uh, represents whether we want to keep a running total of the probabilities. So first thing I'm going to do here is select the number of successes in our sample. Uh, so this is going to be zero, zero. So I'm going to just select the cell number. Then it's going to be comma. And the number underscore sample is our R. So that's going to be three. Population underscore S is the number of possible successes. So this is three. That's our A. And 
number underscore pop is our population size, which is six. That's our N. And then I'm going to put in false. And it returns a formula of 0 decimal 0 0.05. I could have put this in a table and done this as well, but it's a very small table. So I'm just going to highlight and copy down. So here is the probability. So this is, matches up with the calculations we just did. So the probability of zero successes would be 5%. One would be 45%. Two successes would be 45%. And three successes would be uh, 5%. So now we can put this into a chart. And again, we'll have to adjust, uh, select our data. And we wanna remove that. And a number of successes will be our X, um, our independent variable. Press OK, and there's our uh, histogram of this probability distribution. So this is a hypergeo hypergeometric distribution. And so this would be the probability of zero outcomes, one, two, and three success, uh, sorry, zero successful outcomes, one successful outcome, two successful outcomes, and three successful outcomes.